Alter hogumne the rakion polymatis adissus, Alter p megan uden, echon be an aid if a retrain, eon empleen, tachias de keo et oistus, Altu prostipodon metademne stairs in the apen. Then resourceful Odysseus tore off his rags and sprang onto the broad threshold with his bow and his quiver full of arrows. He shed the arrows onto the ground at his feet. The mighty contest is at an end. I will now see whether Apollo will grant it to me to hit another mark, which no man has yet hit. Так говоря, он прицелился горькой стрелой в Антиноя, взяв со стола золотую с двумя рукоятями чашу. Пить из нее Антиной уж готов был вино, беззаботно. Полную чашу кустам подносил он, и мысли о смерти не было в нем, и никто из гостей многочисленных пира вздумать не мог, чтобы один человек на толпу их замыслил дерзко ударить разом предателя губительной керри. Выстрелил. Грудью подавшись вперед, Одиссей и пронзила горло стрела, а стрее смертоносное вышло в затылок. На бок упал Антиной, покатилась по полу чаша. Выпав из рук и горящим ключом из ноздрей засвистала черная кровь. Забрыкавший ногами, толкнул от себя он стол, его прокинул. Вся пища, горячее мясо, хлеб и другое, смешавшись, свалилось на пол. Lanzaban alaridos los pretendientes por la casa. Alberca era su compañero. De sus asientos se levantaron y se lanzaron por la sala y buscaban en todo su alrededor en los bien construidos muros. Pero no había en ellos un escudo o una poderosa lanza para agarrar. E insultaban a Odiseo con enfurecidas palabras. Stranger. You shall pay for shooting people in this way. You shall see no other contest. You are a doomed man. He whom you have slain was the foremost youth in Ithaca. The vultures shall devour you for having killed him. Así cada uno iba diciendo, porque en verdad creían que sin querer había matado al hombre. Los necios no se daban cuenta de que también sobre todos ellos colgaba el lazo de la muerte. Dogs, did you think I should not come back from the district of the Trojans? You wasted my substance, have forced my women servants to lie with you, and have wooed my wife while I am alive. You have feared neither the gods nor that there would be future nemesis from men, and now you will die. Так он сказал им, и были все ужасы схвачены бледным. Все, озираясь глазами, искали дороги для бегства. If you are Odysseus, then what you have said is just. We have done much wrong on your lands and in your house. But Antinous, who was the head and front of the guilty, lies low already. It was all his doing. It was not that he wanted to marry Penelope. He did not so much care about that. What he wanted was something quite different. And Zeus, son of Kronos, has not granted it to him. He wanted to kill your son and to be chief man in strong founded Ithaca. Now, therefore, he has met the death which was his due. Spare the lives of your people. We will make everything good among ourselves in the district and pay you in full for all that we have eaten and drunk. Each one of us shall pay you a fine worth 20 oxen and we will keep on giving you gold and bronze till your heart is softened. Until we have done this, no one can complain of your being enraged against us. Though you should give me all that you have in the world, both now and all that you ever shall have, I will not stay my hand 
till I've paid all of you in full. You must fight or flee for your lives and flee, huh, not a man of you shall. My friends, this man will give us no quarter. He will stand where he is and shoot us down till he has killed every man among us. Let us then show fight. Draw your swords and hold up the table to shield you from his arrows. Let us have at him with a rush to drive him from the pavement and doorway. We can then get through into the town and raise such an alarm as shall soon put a stop to his shooting. Ah! Ayant ainsi parlé, il tira son épée aiguë à deux tranchants et ce roi sur Odysseus en criant horriblement. Mais le divin Odysseus, le prévenant, lança une flèche et le perça dans la poitrine auprès de la mamelle et le très rapide ah, enfonça dans ah, le foie. Ah, ah, et l'épée tomba de sa main contre terre et il tournoya près d'une table, dispersant les mets et les coupes pleines. Et lui-même se renversa et en se tordant et en gémissant, et il frappa du front de la terre, repoussant un trône de ses deux pieds, et l'obscurité se répandit sur ses yeux. Anfinumo dirigió la vista hacia el ilustre Odiseo, avanzó de frente y desenvainó la aguda espada, por si podía correrlo de la puerta pero se le adelantó Telémaco y por detrás le arrojó la lanza de bronce en medio de los hombros y le atravesó el pecho. Retumbó cuando cayó y dio en el suelo con toda la cara. Telémaco se retiró, pero dejó su lanza de larga sombra allí en el cuerpo de Anfínomo porque temía que alguno de los saqueos, mientras estaba arrancando la lanza de larga sombra, le clavara la espada o le hiriera cuando estuviera agachado. Швидко він бігти пустився і до любого батька прибігши, став біля нього близенько і слово промовив крилате. Father, let me bring you a shield, two spears, and a brass helmet for your temples. I will arm myself as well and will bring other armor for the swineherd and the stockmen, for we had better be armed. Run and fetch them while my arrows hold out, and when I am alone, they may get me away from the door. Так він сказав, Телемах же, послухавши любого батька, швидко в комору побіг, де зброя славетна лежала, виніс чотири щити від тіля він і восьми розписів, Також із кінськими гривами мідних шоломів чотири, швидко це все захопивши до любого батька прибіг він. Передусім же і сам одягнувся в озброєння мідне. В лати чудові обидва його черединці убравшись, хитрого та промітного обстали вони Одіссея. Сам же він поки ще стрів було досить для захисту в нього, безперестанно стріляв вже нехів тих одного по одній. Ціляцість влучно вони ж усі покотом падали на мер. Meanwhile, Odysseus, as long as his arrows lasted, had been shooting the suitors one by one, and they fell thick on one another. When his arrows gave out, he set the bow to stand against the end wall of the house by the doorpost, and hung a shield four hides thick about his shoulders. On his comely head, he set his helmet, well wrought with crest of horsehair that nodded menacingly above it, and he grasped two terrifying bronze-shod spears. Now there was a trap door on the wall, while at one end of the pavement there was an exit leading to a narrow passage, and this exit was closed by a well-made door. Odysseus told noble Philoetius to stand by this door and guard it, for only one person could attack it at a time. 
Can't someone go up to the trap door and tell the people what's going on? Help would come at once and we should soon make an end of this man and his shooting. This may not be illustrious Egalos. The mouth of the narrow passage is dangerously near the entrance to the outer court. One brave man could prevent any number from getting in. But I know what I will do. I will bring you arms from the storeroom, for I am sure it is there that Odysseus and his son have put them. Post apon anabine melanthios, I polis igon, ace talamus, Odysseus ana rogas megaroyo. Enthen dota commen sake exile tosa de dura, kai tosas cunias calcareus ipodaseas. Ve diminai maladoka faron ne stairs in a doken. Kai toda de seos, luta guna to kai filan etor, hos peribaluminus. Iditerchia kersi de duro macra tinason tas, mega dalto finiter ergon. Some one of the women inside is helping the suitors against us, or it may be Melanthius. The one who is responsible, Father, is I, and I alone. I left the storeroom door open, and they have kept a sharper lookout than I have. Go, Eumaios, put the door to, and see whether it is one of the women who is doing this, or whether, as I suspect, it is Melanthios, the son of Dolios. Hos hoimen toyota, hos alelus agoron. Be dotis talamonde melantios aipolos aigon, oison te akala no esse de dios hu forbos, aipsa do dusea prosephone en anguseonta. Resourceful Odysseus, noble son of Laertes and seed of Zeus, it is that scoundrel Melanthios, just as we suspected who was going to the storeroom. So shall I kill him, if I can get the better of him? Or shall I bring him here that you may take your own revenge for all the many wrongs that he has done in your house? Telemachus and I will hold these suitors in check no matter what they do. Go back, both of you, and bind Melanthios's hands and feet behind him. Throw him into the storeroom and make the door fast behind you. Then fasten a noose about his body and string him close up to the rafters from a high bearing post that he may linger on in agony. Ipe, και αυτοί τον άκουσαν, και όπω του είπε καν, και τρέξανε όλοι στον οντάφ, δίχω αυτό να νιώσει. Στο βάθο ήταν και έψαχνε, ζητώντα όπλα να βρει. Και αυτοί στα πλάγια στάθηκαν στι πόρτα καρτερώντα. Και ω πάτησε ο γιδοβοσκό πελάνθιο στο κατόφλι, κρατώντα το ένα χέρι του πεντάμορφο ένα κράνο, και στα άλλο ασπίδα ευρύχωρη, παλιά και μικροφέν, που τη φορούσε ο ξακουστό λαέρτη, νιώσαν ένταν, μα άχρηστοι τώρα κοίτονταν. Είχαν λυθεί οι ραφές χύμηξαν τότε πάνω του και από τα μαλλιά των σέρνων, μέσα στον οντά και καταγεί στο πάτωμα των ρίχνων, σβισμένο και του δέσανε σφιχτά χέρια και πόδια από τη στάγκονα, όπως πρόσταξε ο θεϊκός Οδυσσέας. Και αφού σκηνή του πέρασαν, πλεγμένα από το κορμί του, στο στήλο τον κρεμάσανε, τα πάτερα να φτάσει. Τότε έβνε με χειροβοσκέ περιγελώντα τούπε. Μελάνθιος, you will pass the night on as soft a bed as you deserve, and you will know very well when morning comes from the streams of Okeanos, and it is time for you to be driving in your goats for the suitors to feast on. 
Так і лишився він там на прив'язі висіти з губні. Зброю тоді одягнули і двері світлисті замкнувши. До промітного та хитрого вийшли вони Одіссея. Разом усі на порозі відвагою дишучи стали, четверо в домі ж багато було юнаків повносилих. Близько тоді підійшла до них Зевсова донька Афіна, ментора вигляд прибравши, з ним постаттю й голосом схожа. Втішений був Одісей, як побачив її і промовив. Ментор, lend me your help and forget not your old comrade nor the many good turns he has done you. Besides, you're my age mate. But all the time he felt sure it was Athena, leader of armies, and the suitors from the other side raised an uproar when they saw her. Mentor. Don't let Odysseus beguile you into siding with him and fighting the suitors. This is what we will do. When we've killed these people, father and son, we will kill you too. You shall pay for it with your head. And when we have killed you, we will take all you have, indoors and out, and bring it together with Odysseus. We will not let your sons live in your house, nor your daughters, nor shall your widow continue to live in the city of Ithaca. No longer, Odysseus, do you have your old power and strength as when you fought for nine long years among the Trojans about the noble lady Helen? You killed many a man in those days, and it was through your stratagem that Priam's city was taken. How come you are so lamentably less valiant now that you are on your, on your own ground? face to face with the suitors in your own house. Come on, my good man, stand by my side and see how Mentor, son of Alcanus, shall fight your foes and requite your kindnesses conferred upon him. But she would not give him full victory as yet, for she wished still further to prove his own prowess and that of his brave son. So she flew up to one of the rafters in the roof of the hall and sat upon it in the form of a swallow. Mais le damastoride Agelaos, Eurynomos, Amphimédon, Demoptolemos, Pesandros Polyctoride, et le brave Polybos excitaient les prétendants. C'étaient les plus courageux de ceux qui vivaient encore et qui combattaient pour leur vie, car l'arc et les flèches avaient dompté les autres. My friends, he will soon have to leave off for Mento has gone away after having done nothing for him but brag. They are standing at the doors unsupported. Do not aim for him all at once, but six of you throw your spears first and see if you cannot cover yourselves with glory by killing him. And when he has fallen, we need not be uneasy about the others. Κι όπως πρόσταξε, Μελίσσα ρίξαν όλοι. Ματάφερε η θεά Αθηνά να πάνε όλα χαμένα. Κι άλλος απάνω χτύπησε στου παλατιού το στήλο Άλλος στην πόρτα την κλειστή. Κι άλλος τον τοίχο βρήκε. Κι απ' τα γερά σαν γλίτωσαν κοντάρια των μνηστήρων. My friends, I should say, we too had better let drive into the middle of them or they will crown all the harm they have done us by killing us outright. Así dijo. Y todos dispararon sus afiladas jabalinas, apuntando al frente. A Demoptólemo lo mató Odíseo. A Uríades 
Telémaco, a Elato el porquerizo y a Pisandro el boyero. al que estaba al cuidado de las vacas. Así que luego, todos a un tiempo mordieron el inefable suelo y los otros pretendientes se retiraron hacia el fondo del megarón. Ellos se agacharon y recogieron su venablo de los cadáveres. Los pretendientes, de nuevo, las agudas lanzas como jabalinas arrojaron, pero todas las hizo inútiles Atenea. Uno de ellos, la columna del bien construido megarón alcanzó, otro, la puerta firmemente ensamblada, y de otro, se estrelló contra el muro la lanza pasa, pesada por el bronce. Anfimedonte hirió a Telémaco en la mano, por encima de la muñeca, como un picotazo, el bronce le hirió la superficie de la piel. Setsipo Eumeo, por sobre la gruesa ropa con la larga lanza, le rozó los hombros. El arma lo sobrevoló y cayó a tierra. Setsipo Eumeo, por sobre la gruesa ropa con la larga lanza le rozó los hombros. El arma lo sobrevoló y cayó a tierra. Mas los que rodeaban al prudente y de astuto pensamiento odiseo, dispararon sus afiladas lanzas sobre la horda de los pretendientes. Y esta vez alcanzó a Eurodimante Odiseo, destructor de ciudades, a Anfimedonte Telémaco y a Polivo el Porquerizo y a Setsipo después, el hombre que cuidaba al ganado. Foul-mouthed son of Polythyrses, do not be so foolish as to talk wickedly another time, but let the gods direct your speech, for they are far stronger than men. I make you a present of this advice to repay you for the foot which you gave godlike Odysseus when he was begging about in his own house. Και τον Αγέλα ο χτύπησε από κοντά Βυρσέας. Τον λιόκριτο ο τηλέμαχος βάρεσε στα λαγκόνια και απ' τ' άλλο μέρος πέρασε και βγήκε το κοντάρι. Έπεσε μπρούντα και στη γης βρόντισε η κεφαλή του. Την Αθήνα φαμεσίρων το ράφτα, held up her deadly ages. And the hearts of the suitors quailed. They fled to the other end of the court like a head of cattle, maddened by the gadfly, fly, the season of early summer, when the days are at their longest. As eagle-beaked crook talon vultures from the mountains swoop down on the smaller birds that cower in flocks upon the ground and kill them, for they cannot either fight or flee, and lookers on enjoy the sport, even so did Odysseus and his men fall upon the suitors and smite them on every side. They made a horrible groaning as their brains were being battered in and the ground seethed with their blood. Τότε ο Λιώδης έπεσε στα πόδια του Δυσσέα και έτσι με δάκρυα του έλεγε και τον παρακαλούσε. Οριστίος, I beseech you, have mercy upon me and spare me. I never wronged any of the women in your house, either in word or deed, and I tried to stop the others. I saw them, but they would not listen to me, and now they are paying for their folly. 
I was there sacrificing priests. If you kill me, I shall die without having done anything to deserve it and shall have not got thanks for all the good that I did. If you were their sacrificing priest, you must have prayed many a time that it might be long before my homecoming and that you might marry my wife and have children by her and therefore you shall die. Terpsia days et oidus alus conecera malign and famous hos raede metam ne sterse ananke. Este en kiresi akon for mingalegeen anke par orsa terrain. Dicha de fresi mer me ridzen, eek dus megaroya dios meg alu potibomon, herke u hit zoita te tugmenon, entharapala, liar tes deliseas te boon epimeria keon. Egu non li soito parai xas odisea, podi de hoi fronianti, do asato, keridian enai, gun on hapsa sai laertia do odiseus. E toi ho forminga gafurain, katatheke kamadze, mese gus cretera sede, throna argura elu. Autos doubt odisea pro ai xas, La biguno, caimen lusominos, epia teruenta proceda. Odysseus, I beseech you, have mercy on me and spare me. You will feel grief for it afterwards if you kill a bard who can sing both for gods and men as I can. I am self taught, and the gods implanted every kind of lay in my furnace. I would sing to you as though you were a god. Do not therefore be in such a hurry to cut my head off. Your own son, Telemachus, will tell you that I did not want to frequent your house and sing to the suitors after their meals, but they were too many and too strong for me, so they made me. Hold, the man is guiltless, do him no hurt. And we will spare Medan, our herald too, who was always good to me when I was a boy, unless Philoetios or Eumaios has already killed him or he has fallen in your way when you are raging about the court. Il parla ainsi, et le prudent Médon l'entendit. Épouvanté et fuyant la guerre noire, il s'était caché sous son trône et s'était enveloppé de la peau récemment enlevée d'un bœuf. Aussitôt, il se releva et, rejetant, la peau du bœuf, et s'élançant vers Télémacos, il saisit ses genoux et le supplia en paroles ailées. Here I am, my dear sir. Stay your hand, therefore, and tell your father, or he will kill me in his rage against the suitors for having wasted his substance and having been so foolishly disrespectful to yourself. Fear not, Telemachus has saved your life, that you may know in future and tell other people how greatly better good deeds prosper than evil ones. Go therefore outside the halls into the outer court and be out of the way of the slaughter, you and the bard, while I finish my work here inside. Then Odysseus searched the whole court carefully over to see if anyone had managed to hide himself and was still living. But he found them all lying in the dust and weltering in their blood. They were like fishes, which fishermen have netted out of the sea and thrown upon the beach to lie gasping for water till the heat of the sun makes an end of them. Even so were the suitors lying all huddled up one against the other. Telemachus, call Eurycleia. I have something to say to her. 
Telemachus went and knocked at the door of the women's room. Make haste, you old woman who have been set over all the other women in the house. Come outside. My father wishes to speak to you. When Euryclea heard this, she unfastened the door of the women's room and came out, following Telemachus. She found a disuse among the corpses, bespattered with blood and filth, like a lion that has just been devouring an ox, and his breast and both his cheeks are all bloody, so that he is a fearful sight. Even so, the Odysseus besmirched from head to foot with gore. When she saw all the corpses and such a quantity of blood, she was beginning to cry out for joy, for she saw that a great deed had been done. <gasps> Old woman, rejoice in silence. Restrain yourself and do not make any noise about it. It is an unholy thing to vaunt over dead men. Heaven's doom and their own evil deeds have brought these men to destruction. For they respected no man in the whole world, neither rich nor poor, who came near them. And they have come to a bad end as a punishment for their wickedness and folly. Now, however, tell me, which of the women in the house have misconducted themselves and who are innocent? I will tell you the truth, my son. There are 50 women in the house whom we teach to do things, such as carding wool and all kinds of household work. Of these, 12 in all have misbehaved and have been wanting in respect to me and also to Penelope. They showed no disrespect to Telemachus, for he has only lately grown, and his mother never permitted him to give orders to the female servants. But let me go upstairs and tell your wife all that has happened, for some god has been sending her to sleep. Do not wake her yet, but tell the women who have misconducted themselves to come to me. Ho sarefe greus, de diek magaroio bebeke, anke leusa gineuxi, caio treneusa nesae, autor tele mahon, cae bucolon edesi boten, eise calessa menos, e pea pteroenta proseuda. Telemachus, Pelioto, Sumos. Begin to remove the dead, make the women help you. Then get sponges and clean water and swirl down the tables and the seats. When you have thoroughly cleaned the whole hall, take the women outside between the domed room and the outer court and co stab them through with your swords until they are quite dead and forgotten blood and lying in secret for the suitors. <laughs> Aoles elthon apase, ai nolofuro menai, thaleron katadakri heusae. Proto menu nequias, foreon katateth nuotas, kadar hup ai fuse, Tithesane verkeus aules, alle eloisine rei dusai, se maine doduceus, autos epis per hon, tai dec foreon caianancae. Autare peita fronus, pericaleas ede trapezas, hudati cae spongoisi, polutre toisi cathairon. Autar 
telemahos kai bukolos ede subotes, li stroisin da pedon, pukapoie toio domoio, xion tai de foreon moai, tifesan de thurace. Ho sarepe, kai pesma neos, kuano pro royo, kionos exapsas megales pere balle toloio, hypsos en pentanusas, me tis os in udas hikoito. Hos totane kichlai tanu sipteroi ee peleai, herkeen nipleik sosi, Tothesta ke eni tamno, auline sin emenais tugeros tu podexta to kuitos, hos hai gexeis kepalas sekon, ampi te pasais, dere si prochoiesan, hopos oiktista tanoien. Inspiron de podesi minunta per u timalade. Ecte melantion egon ana prothiron te ke aulen. Tu da pomen rinaste kai uata lele i chalko. Tam media dexerusan. Kysin omadas hastai. Heras tede podas kotton kekoteo ti tumo. Hoi mene peeta ponipsa menoi heras te podas te. Es odusea domonde kion. Te telesto te ergon. Bring me some sulfur, which cleans all pollution, and fetch fire that I may burn it. And then when I purify the hall, go, moreover, and tell Penelope she can come with her attendants, and also all the maidservants that are in the house. All that you have said is true, but let me bring you some clean clothes, a chitin and cloak. Do not keep these rags on your back any longer. It is not right. First light me fire. Os hefat uda pitheise, phile trophos eurycleia, e niken dar apur, kai theion autar odusos. Eu dieo theisen megaron, kai doma ke aulen. Greus daut apebe, dia doma ta kala odusos. Anke leusa gineuxe, kai otre neuse neestae. Hai disan ek megaroio, daos metahersin ehusae. Hai menar amphegeonto, kai espatonto dusea. Kai kineon agapaxomenai, kefalen kineon. Teke kai omus. Heiras tain nimenae tonde glucus humeros eire. Klafmu kai stonages gignoske dara presipasas. <laughs> 